vintage stuff. But anyways, um, I'm gonna tell you a funny story that wound up happening uh, one time when I was going down to um, a restaurant in uh, Silver Lake. I'm sitting down in a restaurant, eating a pizza, and I see people walking in front of me. And um, a lady stops me while I'm eating. And she goes, Bruno. And I, as I'm eating, I just uh, look up at her and um, I didn't know what to, what, to, what to tell her. But she wanted to shake my hand and I'm eating and I didn't want to tell her I wasn't Bruno because I still have food in my mouth and stuff. And she just stared at me and slowly just walked away. <laughs> That was one person, and I'm pretty sure that she actually walked with, uh, worked with um, Bruno too. Um, other moments like that where people actually know him, um, I've been to Starbucks here where you'll get someone come up to you or to me and they'll say, um, Peter. And if you ever hear someone say Peter, that's a good indication that they know Bruno personally. Um, and that happened again to me in uh, Las Vegas. I went out shopping at the Las Vegas mall, and then as I'm walking out, someone just started coming up to me and goes, Peter? And then he just stares at me for a while, and he goes, you're not Peter. <laughs> so he says, you're not Peter, and I go, hey man, have a good day. And I start walking away, and as I'm walking away, I turn around, and he was just still looking at me. <laughs> but that stuff happens, I mean... It's a really normal thing for me to experience, especially being here in Los Angeles. And, um, you know, I happen to live in the media city capital of the world. So everywhere where I'm at, I'm always surrounded by producers, there's writers, directors, um, there's stages here. Bruno rehearses a couple blocks from here. Uh, he's had a 